prayer. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, we are all crazy and weird, so it makes sense, Kanara, that we are zombies. Isn't that the truth? Puckster, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. Welcome to the Infinity Table from infinitytables.com. Not a real site, not endorsed. And you get to choose your own chair. You get to choose your own chair. We're waiting on some carrots to cook. And then we're going to serve up some beef, soul's beef stew and Soylent Green crackers. Dun, dun, dun. So how are you doing today? I agree with Derek. That's how I like mine too. A pip named Moto Moto. Moto Moto's in the house. He's about to turn it out. Cause you know it's going down. Cause he's physically, he's physically round. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. How are you a pip named Moto Moto? Moto Moto. It's made from people. Steak has to be a solid medium for me. He used to only eat his, his beef well done. Shoe leather, well done. I've got him now where it's, depending on the cut, it's he will do a little bit of pink and he will do some pink, which is a little bit pinker than a little bit of pink. So if I do a, like a ribeye steak, he will do some pink. But if I do a skirt steak or a hanger steak, it has to be a little bit of pink. I like it medium rare. Well done is a ways of good beef, right? Exactly. So if I'm doing this tomahawk steak, that's all for me because there is no way on this planet I am cooking that beef past 135. There is no way. I will have two probes inside that steak at all times. And the minute they beep at about five degrees before, they're going to beep about 130. That sucker's getting pulled off over here. We're going to rest it. Oh, we're going to make a good demi-gloss sauce to go with that. Oh man, now I want to do this really, really bad. There's a hippo named Moto Moto. Yes, that's what the song is. My name is Moto. Here's how you spell it, Imotio, Imotio. <laughs> I love that movie too. Let's put some crackers on here. Oh, I can actually touch this again. I won't put the, this is probably too big of a plate, but you know what, we can set these things out here for presentation. Have a, oh, okay, I gotta move that. I'll have to move this over now. But we have our Soylent Green crackers. Oh my gosh, it is really coming down on the rain. It just got really, really dark outside. Mm. I will say these are, these are like really good. Oh. Who's Gary? My husband's named Derek, or the guy sitting over there. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, okay, that's good. Okay, let's check this thing out, see, see how we're doing on the, see how we're doing on our carrots. Oh my gosh, that smells so delicious. I so wish you guys could smell this. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a, here's a big piece of carrot. Oh, almost, man, they are close. These little ones are probably a little bit better though, aren't they? Let me actually try one of these. I love your cooking and commentary, Kanara. Gotta go, but wish you amazing food and amazing people. Vanel, thank you so much for coming, and I appreciate you coming. I appreciate the, the kind words. Thank you very, very much for that. Very, very much for that. It's just, it's nice to hear nice things like that. It really is. My apologies, I thought his name was Gary. Mrs. Window's husband's name is Gary. I think we've talked about him in stream a couple of times. Much love right back at you. Wait. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ooh, look at her going all gangster. Look at her going all gangster. Hmm. Those do need to cook a little bit more. So next. So this coming Wednesday. will both be desserts. I'm thinking about what I could put in the oven. Oh, by the way, I don't know someone's name. I just make up a name for them. I like that. That works. That's how your brain will remember it. Our brains actually are not wired to remember somebody's name, nor their face. We're actually wired to remember their sound. 
So that's why auditory stuff is usually, usually kind of better. Holy cow, I mean, it is like really, it's like really coming down out there. Oh, I like it. Is it wrong that I really like these Soylent Green crackers? I mean, you don't have to dye them unless you're doing a Soylent Green party. But these are really good. They have a lot of, well, remember we added some garlic, some onions, some paprika, smoked paprika, and the chili powder. And I was worried that the, that the honey might make them too sweet, but you really can't taste the honey. You just, it's just not as savory. But the, the honey is just actually a perfect balance. But I think next time I'll try agave. But these are fast. These are as fast to make as biscuits are. Biscuits are the same thing. Biscuits, you know, you got your buttermilk, which becomes your leavening because of the acid. And your flour, you mix it till just, it just starts to come together. And you put it out and you just pat it down to where they're about this thick. And I just cut them with a knife like this and pick them up and put them on the thing and bake them. You have biscuits within. By the time you mix it, measuring, mixing, cooking, you'll have biscuits in 20 minutes. How about that? If that doesn't inspire you to try biscuits, homemade biscuits, and if you don't have biscuits, if you don't have biscuits, if you don't have buttermilk, because you want that tang, a cup of milk, and a good overspill of lemon juice. I use bottled lemon juice, and I know it's got the right acid. Stir it real good, and let it sit on the counter for about an hour. You'll have buttermilk. I wish I can hear the rain, and I know you guys can't hear the rain, but that is crazy amount of rain that's coming out of the sky right now. I'll start swimming. We're gonna actually start swimming through here. Oh, I need a ladle. Ladle, 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 with ladle I will play. Do I not have a ladle in here? Hey, where's, where's Nessie at? Where's my Nessie label at? Oh, here we go. Is this not the cutest ladle? You can see the eyes. So when it's, when you, when it's in your, when it's in your pot, oops, oops, let's move this out of the way. There we go. So if it's sitting inside your pot, it stands up straight and it looks like Loch Ness Monster. David Ortiz would call his teammates Pappy if he can't remember their name. But what does that mean? Does that mean like friend or pal or something like that? It looks like Nessie. Yeah, it's a Nessie ladle. It's an actual Nessie ladle. So it looks like, so if, especially if you have it like in a big pot, it looks like it's a Loch Ness monster, Loch Ness monster swimming through it. But how can you call this a monster? How can you call this a monster? Oh my Lanta. My rain gauge is all, my weather station broke. So I don't even know how much water we're getting right now. And that really, really, really disappoints me. I love a good dark beer. I don't like the beers that have fruit in them. I don't like the, the wheat beers that have like orange flavor in them, raspberry flavor. I don't want those. It might mean bud, buddy or pal. That's what I'm wondering. A lot of times those type of names will have like a, like a nickname for them. All right. I think we're going to probably dish this up because I'm getting hungry. Today was going to be easy stream. I knew today wasn't going to be a long stream. It's a pretty easy stream. And then uh, Wednesday when we're, we're baking the, the bark. No, the bark isn't baked. The bark is just heated up chocolate and then we put all the, all the fixings inside of it. And then, oh, the lights just flashed. Hmm. And then the um, cupcakes are easy to do with the, with the cupcakes. But I might also make a dinner dish because, and I'll take the cupcakes to work. We're getting light rain in Utah, cold and rainy day. I love it. Put me in the booth. So yeah, that's why I decided I added the, the stew at the last minute. I thought, well, I can bake crackers, but we need to have something to eat with the crackers. So soylent green crackers and soul's soup. Okay, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna turn this off. You know what I didn't test? I didn't test to see if the meat was tender. Let's... Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, who is that? Executive Storm with a resub. Executive Storm, thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate that very, very much. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. So nice. Now when I dish this up, I'm not gonna dish it up with the carrots because I didn't have carrots in the one that was the, 
there was just a little bit of the stew. Well, I'll scoop that carrot out of there. 